such competitions are extremely significant in the life of a young student who's just getting ready to get out of school and start working in the industry. You start learning so much uh, about what happens in the real world, you meet the right people, you network, but more importantly, you start appreciating everything that you learn in the books uh, in the context of how it, real, it, it works in the real world. You start appreciating what your faculty are trying to tell you. Healthcare architecture is in need of, of innovation, and I think that's, that is, is an exciting thing to see, to see that uh, interest is, is there and that um, you know, students are willing to kind of uh, take the time to focus on that and, and um, begin a dialogue with, with, uh, with healthcare and, and what the opportunities are there. So having that fresh approach from the students, I think, is, is going to be uh, critical to the innovation in the healthcare field. I'm very excited. It's really exciting to see all the different universities coming together and collaborating on this one project, all the different disciplines. Uh, I think, you know, hopefully those students will come out with a great experience. I think these types of competitions teach us a lot. To be able to do this big of a scope of a project within 48 hours, I think it just teaches us the more important things that go into it rather than focusing on the small details. I haven't had a whole ton of background in healthcare and it's definitely something that I'm interested in moving forward so it's just great to get the perspective of the architects, the construction managers and all of the professionals as to what healthcare is really like. All of us come from different cities, different universities, a different pedagogy of sorts. Each one of us have, have been conditioned in a certain way to you know, approach this particular problem. So not just our, uh, the differences in our fields, but the differences from the kind of institution we are coming from is really playing its role. And I'm sure that's going to happen with the industry as well. The highlight for me is the sheer number of different perspectives you get on one problem-solving uh, activity. I'm more on the design side. I've really had to push myself in exploring, you know, the plan layout, the sectional layouts, the, the type of experiences users will be having inside of those spaces. I like that because the more I can bounce off of my newly founded teammates and friends, the better we can all work together in designing as a team. We would like to introduce you to the core, a building whose sole objective is to give its patients a soothing respite from the urban sprawl and draw their attention to the healing core. And so there was issues of bringing outside air. They were moved to the roof. Then the issue became though, how do you route this ductwork um, down through the building where at the second floor it's const I'm sorry, constricted and you still need to be able to uh, access it at the first floor level. So those were kind of the two issues that were uh, first identified when going into engineering. We want the building to possess a home-like quality as far as um, the layout goes and as far as materiality is concerned. We want the building to act as a healing instrument and only um, serve its purpose to really aid in that rehabilitative and regenerative process. Um, we are aiming to create a place of healing and wellness for our patients, focusing on their recovery and their well-being within their experience inside of our facility. We first start with the honorable mention. It's Team Ford. Congratulations.
Gewinner Team One. It's, it's that interdisciplinary learning that will just structure us for a better future.